see one, two, three, and then again. Put it like over your head. So now we're gonna do a little harder. You ready for this? Go for it. Right. Ouch. Yeah. What's up, Yims guys? Time for another video. Alright, it's not just about watching videos. It's not about watching videos and commenting on them and looking at comments, right? And uh, nothing like that. What it really should be about is paying attention when you look at stuff that has actual footage you know what i'm saying about how these people do their shit and how they harass or attack people or the tactics or weapons they use what i'm saying is it's about paying attention because not that you're you hope not that you're hoping it forever happen and not that you're looking for any trouble but just by the behavior and observing this behavior, that should be the primary purpose of watching a lot of this. If you can uh, see any footage of shit like this going down, it should be not just about comment or making fun and not about looking for trouble either. But knowing that if these people keep doing shit like that, what if it ends up... Uh, when they're attacking uh, people and stuff or whatever they're attacking anybody to, and then observe the comments about people rooting for them and their attitudes because you know why because particular people that you uh, when you observe their tactics and things right and you can laugh at some of them too but you should be pay attention because when they keep getting away with the shit it's going to be a matter of time before they might start go, trying to come after you or me. Uh, even if you live in a town that this shit doesn't go on, say these people get bigger and more arrogant and they want to invade your space or your town, your peaceful space or whatever. Uh, you want to eventually be able to say, just fucking try it. You know what I'm saying? So it's about, yeah, no, yeah. Like I said, um, don't just uh, watch or make fun of the videos. Or the purpose should be you should be a paying attention to what people are doing and study their ways. And if you ever have to deal with people of that kind of personality, then you might have a plan, and you can just say, just fucking try it. I'm going to talk about that uh, Atlanta uh, terrorist attack. And excuse me for trying not to laugh here. Matter of fact, there's some shit that it ain't uncommon for me to say there's uh, shit that I find so hilarious in my own opinion that it's hard to talk about without uh, trying not to laugh and you'd be like, pausing and stammering a little bit trying not to laugh because I see aspects of it being funny where maybe some of you guys watch and haven't thought of it as being funny but the way I think it, but maybe some of you guys think well anyway I don't think you think what I think you think that I think you think that I think that you think you think well anyway on with what I'm trying to say uh, apart from being silly yeah, I watched several of the video footages of oh, YouTubers talking about it. Yeah, they arrested a small handful of them compared to how many of them have been doing shit and they conveniently never catch it for all these years and I could go on and on in a separate video of different theories that everybody else has been saying and I'm not going to do that. Uh... But anyway, I've seen uh, different people's takes on it, the actual footage, and I even watched the uh, court thing where it's not a trial yet, the uh, 
where they're bringing them in there and decide they're going to set bail yet. Uh, is that word I'm looking for? Uh, I, that was interesting too. They were setting bail for some of them and some of them not. But and how goofy some of the rest of these people will look. Uh, they all look like they're a damn bunch of uh, drag, drug addicts and shit. Um, hilarious. I mean, just absolutely uh, hilarious. But And I'm not going to go on and on too much about it. I am, for sure, not going to do what the video did I just deleted. I am going to talk about the comment section in detail in another video. But I'm going to leave it at that. You guys probably seen them already looking at the comment section. The sympathizers of them and Tifa kids. Very laughable. And I'm not going to make the mistake of the video I just deleted. And add that to the video and make the video too long. I promise you for sure. Not going to do that this time. But yeah, you go, guys go look at it. But There's enough there worthy of doing a whole video to laugh at just that comment section. But if you got this far in this video before I end it, the shit that I find hilarious is, yes, the Antifa kids with the masks and how terrible they are uh, with Molotov cocktails, even though they did some damage, and shooting fireworks as if, acting as if uh, they have uh, a damn missile system or something. I mean, the whole thing looks stupid. Since nobody got burned by the Molotov cocktails, which I definitely didn't want to see that happen. Uh, I can rightly tell you how hilarious and how stupid it is. They're that, yeah. They, it's uh, they are they should be charged for domestic terrorism and trespassing. There's felony trespass in there, damaging of property, and all kind of shit like that. And I'm, my one point in this video too is saying. Uh, if they don't quit their shit, they're going, stepping a little further, a little further. Another model of how arrogant they've become. Yeah, they're getting some of them for domestic terrorism. They're going to keep doing the shit, doing the shit, and they're going to be throwing multiple cocktails and actually set somebody on fire and burn them. And when they do, rest assured, uh, the day that happens, the day we hear about that happen, there are some authorities that are going to be catching some of the people and they're going to say, have them in an interrogation room and say, hey, look, we want the person who set so-and-so the cop or whatever you attacked on fire. You're going to give us names or we're going to make, make your life a living hell, we promise. That's what's going to happen. They, they keep doing shit like that. Uh, Molotov cocktails are nothing to play around with. And even though they didn't, burn anybody that I know of. They're burning property and equipment, which they should be, their ashes should be uh, going to damn jail for, no doubt about it. But I'm telling you, I'm, I can't say that enough. The day they, whether they knowingly or accidentally set somebody on fire with that shit, uh, trying to act like they're all badass, like they have a missile system, like they got weapons or whatever. Yeah, that stuff ain't as dangerous to play with you. Somebody survives being burned by that shit. A lot of suffering and everything else, and, and to be very deformed. Uh, not a very good thing to do to another person while pretending to be a revolutionary. Yeah, you really want to go and do that to somebody? Yeah, I'll say that one more time. The very day the, uh, any of those individuals do that to somebody um, with shit like that, even though they don't catch the one that actually did it right away, yeah, that's what they will do. They'll get some of these people, and they will interrogate them. They'll say, hey, we want the ones who set so-and-so on fire, and if we don't get what we want... We're going to make you your life a living hell, and we're going to give you the max. And they might even say, you know what, we're going to throw you in the uh, worst uh, place that we can find. You know, uh, next to certain prisoners that uh, will not glorify you for what you do. As a matter of fact, don't even care. And you're going to have to, 
you're going to have to be nice to that hierarchy or whatever. And have to shower. Yeah, that's what they're going to damn do. Yeah, the, the minute they do some shit like that. And the reason why I say that, I'm predicting that what's it going to take for uh, them to really start cracking down on these people, which they should have did years ago. I mean, I don't want to be repetitive, but that's the seriousness when you get them attacking a police compound with Molotov cocktails. Whether they burn any people or not, it's only a matter of time before... Because yeah, we're laughing at this this thing, how bad they are at it. By the way, I'm also laughing at how... I'm glad nobody got burned. The only reason I'm laughing about how terrible the cops were defending the compound... The only reason I'm even making fun of that aspect of it, too, is because nobody got burned. I definitely didn't want to see any of them cops get burned. Not a good idea. I'm saying there that some serious charges go into attacks of a place like that. But, yeah, the minute, I can't say that enough, the minute, I don't want to be repetitive, but I'm predicting that since we're laughing at some of it to a degree and how terrible they are with these fireworks and these cocktails and making fun of them. Me, not just me, a bunch of other people, commenters, they're going to get really mad and narcissistic and start acting worse, right? And maybe they might actually... Because that's what people do, uh, gangster types, both black and white, do with guns. You laugh at them, they get narcissistic and start doing worse shit. And then they do their cells in. You definitely do not want to egg them on or recommend they do it, you're not egging them on, but that's always what happens. Instead of them quitting their shit, they get more narcissistic and more arrogant. Maybe they want so badly to be feared by the police and, and feared by people like you and me. The rest of us see this shit going on in other cities like Seattle and what they've been doing for years, vandalizing shit even before 2020. The rest of us are laughing at them, even though they egged on other people in the streets to go marching and doing vandalism. Uh, they know the rest of uh, this country is laughing at them. We're watching these videos and laughing. As long as, like I said, none of the cops got burned, we're laughing at how bad they are at the shit. Uh, even though they do a lot of shit that they should be putting away for, we're laughing at them. So, you know, I mean, my thing is, they're, do, they're go, doing a little more, a little more. One of these days, if uh, they, nobody cracks down on them, they are going to set somebody on fire, whether they mean to or not. And that's going to be serious. And it'll be like I said, the minute they set somebody on fire and not, instead of just cars and objects, the minute they set somebody on fire say that one more time interrogation room we want the name of who set so and so on fire or we don't get it we're going to make your life a living that's what they need to start doing uh, with the vandalisms whoever they catch they need to catch to end this video here so it don't go on and on uh, that's what they really should be doing whoever if there's anybody egging that on an organization that's paying anybody, using the money, any if they're using any kind of money to incite these people to do this shit, they're not just getting the numbers doing that on their own. Find out who it is if anybody's using any, if they're a non-profit organization, a legit organization, and they're doing any, using any money to uh, put people out there, pay people out there to egg people. That's what they're doing. They're paying people Maybe the Antifa, their self members ain't getting paid, but they, you know, they got, whether it's them or any other kind of rioters, they got uh, promoters that they're paying to egg these people on and incite it, right? They need to find who the hell these people are. If they have a non-profit organization, freeze the money of that shit, shut them down, shut them the hell down, and if they're using that money for nefarious purposes to do shit like that, Seize that, seize that damn money the way they seize uh, drug dealers' money. That's the only way they're going to damn stop it or else the shit's going to keep going on. 
I think somebody's going to get tired of it, and they are going to do that, but that's what actually needs to be done. Yeah, what they need to be doing, too, in the communities. Any, any uh, landlords or neighbors that uh, are aware that any of these people are doing this shit, like... Uh, Anybody out there in the community that knows about it, they ought to be sending people to their door and not having anybody's rich mommy or daddy being able to just defend them. Or if there's somebody getting them bail or lawyers uh, outside of there, what they should be doing when the authorities, whoever it is, are accepting the bail and the lawyers for these people, they should be able to have, the authorities should be able to have the right, okay, whether it's attorney generals, they should have the right to demand that the people who are giving people bail, it should, I don't, I, you have to Google the laws about this in states. Uh, if you've got people that are doing shit time and time again, somebody somewhere should have the right to demand and say, hey, we want to know who's given if somebody chooses to give somebody bail, especially when they got a lot of evidence against them, they should uh, be a, the the people. It should be mandatory that the person, the giver of the bail or the hire of this lawyer, they should be able to disclose who they are before. That should be a requirement. You know what I mean? On the end of the person that was, would be the taker of that bail money, you know what I mean? That person should be saying, hey, before we take this, we got to know who you are and you got to come down or whatever the hell. But yeah, I, I'm just guessing about how this is, all this uh, shit I'm seeing on YouTube or reading the articles and hearing about that these people are getting bailed out or somebody bribing them, which for the most part is just stuff hearsay when I'm uh, speculating and reading all these articles without going on and on, but they need to be looking into the people who are bailing these people out like that, and maybe uh, having them investigated, because when you got people that are doing shit like that for years, and promoting that shit, and egging people on to go be doing shit like that in numbers, and somebody is either helping them or bailing them, well, Go figure, um, they caught one person that was involved in the uh, attack, was actually a lawyer that supposedly, what, uh, in my own words, I have to look it up, uh, supposedly an organization of lawyers that goes after so-called extremists or terrorists or whatever the hell it is, that goes after extremists from what I understand in my own words, one of those lawyers, all right, was caught doing the shit, and they're prosecuting them, them. and we're still watching this shit, uh, seeing if somebody doesn't cleverly get them out on less charges or slap an arrest. Oh, all right, to end this video, too, that's the word I was looking for, the arraignment. Okay, I'm going to end this video now, but, um, yeah, arraignment was the word I was looking for. When I was saying earlier in the video that, uh, yeah, I watched all the footages, everybody's take on the attack, footages of the attack. Then I saw the footage of the judge thing, you know, where they're sent bail and doing this. The arraignment thing, I think you call that the arraignment. Uh, excuse me for being uh, so add with names and words, so that, that was the word I was looking for, but, so we, we're seeing a, an arraignment in the, one of the YouTube videos or whatever the hell, um, and now the rest of us are all watching this shit to see if these, uh, lowlifes get a slap on a wrist, but, well, I'm, when I end this video right now, I'm just gonna say that one more time, uh, the small handful that they caught, uh, Ain't not compared to the people who've been doing it for years. And my take is like those people, some people, a lot of people that were arresting them want to see them 
not be let back out. Uh, we know that. But ending this video, I'm going to say uh, the small handful that they caught, it's almost like, yeah, they just now caught some of them. They're doing more and more shit. But going back to all these years, people doing this shit, somebody seems to be dragging their feet. Like it's almost like they're avoid even trying to catch or locate them. And if that were you and me that did anything petty even compared to what they're doing, if you or me did anything that was similar to that, that even, even was a lesser or less violent thing, I guarantee you, they're sure as hell find where we... You know what I mean? Uh, if you were black or white or anybody watching, I know I myself, I'm not going to speak for you, but I always say that annoyingly in front of my partner on TV. And if you're black watching this or white watching this, maybe you're like that too. I know I'm like that. I'm not speaking for you. Everything I see, shit like that on TV, I be saying, uh, if that were me, man, they'd find my ass right away. Like, you see all this other shit goes on in the TV news. It, it almost appears that there's a bias as far as arrests and they're giving people special treatment. And it not, it ain't just by color too. You can be black watching this seeing other black people uh, getting all this shit and you can be looking on TV and saying, oh, if that were me, if somebody my color, somebody the same color as you doing some kind of shit, and you'd be saying to yourself on TV, oh, if that were me and I did less shit like that, that would find me right away. And if you're like that, I have respect for you. Or there's people that look like me, right, that does pretty bad things and they, they'll get away with things and they finally catch them. There's always drag, somebody dragging their feet. Um, um, yeah, anyway, I'm one of them people there too. Yeah, see that on TV. If that were me and I did anything uh, even lesser than that, man, it, you know what I mean? What I'm trying to say is a lot of us ain't buying that, yeah, it's that hard to catch like a few of these people. Like, come on now. If they want to, they if they want to find somebody, they, they find them. So, yeah, well, there's a lot of us out there that believe that authorities and different people are bribing the system and can, people are dragging their feet, like almost like that they're only catching and arresting a few of these people because they have to or prosecute them. because they, Like the ones that didn't get physically caught by the police, providing they don't let them out, back out afterwards, right? Then the other ones that, oh, they're just magically, nobody knows where they're at. Come the fuck on them. You know what I mean? Uh, but then, if somebody else that they really uh, are after, they know how to find them and get them. So we ain't believing that shit, not for a damn minute. 